Hello and welcome to this Gamma Dental Tutorial. Today we will introduce the transfer of the upper jaw and lower jaw model according to the anatomic axis into the reference SL articulator. For transferring the dental casts into the reference articulator you need the articulator itself, the upper and lower jaw model, the bite registrat, the reference AB facebow with fixed bite fork from the patient, different distance blocks with pre-mounted mounting plates, the facebow support, bite fork support and the mandibular mounting clamp. After removing the facebow from the patient, dismount the nasion support and the porous supports, thus making the mounting plates accessible. Our tip, if the porous supports are screwed back in on the outside of the facebow, they cannot get lost. Attach the facebow support and the bite fork support as shown. The supporting bars of the bite fork support must be moved downwards and fixed. The correct position of the facebow support is achieved when the labeling can be read normally. Pull apart the side arms of the reference AB facebow. The adapter plates can now be inserted to the corresponding casings. To do so, the reference AB facebow is pushed together gently but firmly until both guides slide firmly in place. Next, the facebow is placed on the facebow support and the anterior bow fixing screw is tightened, thus locking the bow. Carefully move the bars of the bite fork upwards until they touch the bite fork, then they are fixed. The position of the bite fork must not be changed in this process. The next step is to select the ideal distance block. First, the upper jaw model must be set into the corresponding impressions on the bite fork, then close the upper section of the articulator that it rests in solid contact on the anterior facebow pins. Analyze the distance between the upper section and the model. The distance block which best fills the spatial requirements can now be chosen. Make sure that there is a thin, but even space between the cast and the mounting plate. This will minimize the distortion effects of plaster expansion. Moisten the model and apply the mounting plaster to the model and the mounting plate. Then calls the articulator. Allow the plaster to harden according to the manufacturer's instructions. Afterwards, the reference AB facebow can be removed from the articulator. The mount of the lower cast, relative to the anatomic axis, is carried out in the articulator. To achieve a stable upside-down position of the articulator, and to avoid errors due to manual handling, attach the mandible mounting clamp to the upper part of the articulator. Lock the articulator in centric and place it upside-down on the table. Then carefully place the bite registrant on the upper jaw model. Insert the lower jaw model on the registration imprints. Measure how far the bite is blocked by the bite registrat in the, the area of the center mark of the articulator. The incisal pin must be pulled out to twice the amount indicated, starting at the zero line. Select the distance block for the lower jaw equally as for the upper jaw. Open the articulator and insert the distance block with a previously attached mounting plate. The selected distance block is inserted in the articulator. Afterwards, the mandibular model is moistened and the mounting plaster is applied to the model and the mounting plate. Then the articulator is closed and the plaster hardens according to the manufacturer's instructions. Remove the mandible mounting clamp.
Open the articulator and remove the bite registration. Set the incisal pin to zero and close the articulator. Now the transfer of the upper jaw and lower jaw model according to the anatomic axis into the reference SL articulator is completed. We hope that our tips were useful. If you have any questions, please write us an email or ask your local distributor. We hope you continue to enjoy working with Gamma products. Thank you for watching.